Yo guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So we're going to be talking about how to set up a stream deck. Doesn't matter if you have the small, medium, large or the mobile device. They all work the same and we're going to show you today how to set up some custom buttons and also some custom graphic to go on the back of your buttons. So recently a streamer by the name of Massive Power Lee got a stream deck from his girlfriend and Calvin Crash Bash 2207 went and helped Massey set up the stream deck. I spoke to Massey yesterday and he said to me that T's buttons were quite basic and I wanted to just show how to add some custom button backgrounds. So we're gonna start with, if you're using standard OBS Studio, you are going to need to be using the tools under the YouTube Studio tab here. And then if you're using Stream Labs, which I am using, you are going to be using these tools here. So we're going to add one to stop and start the stream. We're also going to add all of my scenes along the top. This is how I like to set up my stream deck. I like these to be on the main screen. So to start with, you can see here, it's connected to my Streamlabs. You need Streamlabs open to make this work and connect directly to Streamlabs. So button one is my start and soon screen. Button two is going to be my live screen. Button three is going to be my be right back screen. And then the last one is my intermission screen. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I tend to jump to the intermission screen to say my hellos and goodbyes on my stream. I just find it's a little bit more personal. You know, you kind of take the gameplay off the screen. The webcam becomes a bit bigger and you can do your introductions and, and your goodbyes, etc. So, as you can see, we've now got to turn the stream on and off. We've got our starting soon our live screen, our be right back screen and our intermission screens all set. Then we also have down here you can go to a specific website which I like to put my YouTube studio URL here so I can click one button and it will automatically go straight to the stream um, to the YouTube studio section so I can enter my thumbnails, titles etc there. And then you can also use this one uh, where it says open to open a specific program. And then you've got your multimedia keys so you can do this and you can change this to previous track, play and pause, next track, stop, mute, increase or decrease volume, whichever you choose. So for me, I have a Go XLR so I don't tend to use this button. So I'm just gonna take that one away. And then you've also got uh, your Twitter, so you can tweet out that you're going live. You've also got YouTube message, so when you put this one in, you can type a message here. And when you press this particular button, it will send the message directly to your stream chat over on YouTube. Again, I don't use that because they can hear me via the microphone. Um, you can also put this one in, which will then show you your views. And you obviously need to connect your account, so you add an account. And then you can also go in here and you can turn the size of the um, text up and down. Again, not something that I really use because I use Streamlabs OBS and the viewership is in the top corner. And then you've also got the control center for any Elgato devices like the streaming lights or RGB lights that they offer. So you can change all the brightness, etc. And then you have YouTube, uh, sorry, you have Twitch Studio. But the Twitch Studio doesn't really have a great deal of options here. So if you want more options for Twitch, you're going to go to more actions and you're going to come in here and you're going to download this Twitch control panel right here. And then when we go back, we go down, you can then add a chat message exactly the same as you did over on the YouTube one. You can clear the chat, emote chat, follow chat, play and add, slow chat. You can change your stream titles and stuff via one button. You can do sub chat. You can create stream markers. You can see your viewers. You can clip. You can open your last clip. And then you've also got the Go XLR. But again, if you don't have a Go XLR, this one's pretty useless to use. So don't worry about that one too much. 
If you use voice mod, you can also click your buttons and change your voice to a robot or an echo, etc. Under this tab, you just, you know, drag and drop it onto here and it will, you just press one button and it will control the voice mod directly from here. Another great one that is available is under the Stream Deck tab, you can create a folder. So when you first get the Stream Deck, a lot of people thought it was just 15 buttons and then they upgraded to the 32 buttons, which is very, very unnecessary because if you create a folder, you can create 15 folders and then inside you would have a, an additional 14 buttons. So that equals a lot of buttons so yeah so it's not just a 15 button it works out it's 15 times 14 which will total up to about 210 buttons if you're 15 by 14 so 210 buttons to go round on a stream deck is pretty sufficient in my you know, especially for me. I mean, I don't even use the fifth, a lot of the 15 buttons. Um, it just depends what I'm doing. You know, you can create a folder. Then inside the folder, you can also do... Like, uh, if we come down here and we add a hotkey in. Say if you're playing Euro Truck and you wanted to... I don't know. Spacebar is the handbrake. So you can put spacebar here so then when you press that specific button on the stream deck that will apply the handbrake in game because it's mapped to the spacebar button again i don't tend to use um the stream deck for my games because over on the rig pc i already have the farm deck which is the side panel with all the buttons and controls on it so again that's something that you it's all down to personal choice if you haven't got a, a farm farm side deck or whatever, you can then turn this into a fully functioning button box. So, like I said, Massey and Calvin set up Massey's stream deck, and I wanted to just show how to make your buttons look a bit more flashy. So I've got the folder up here, and inside this folder, you have all the different RGB buttons that you can use for the stream deck i will include the link for this in the description of the video so just a little insight when these are dark green these are off when they are light green they are on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to single left click the stream on and off button i'm going to go to the left is on the right is off so then i'm going to go to set by and then we're gonna go, so I know that stream on is the one I'm looking for. And as you can see, it's now set an icon. So we're now gonna do the same thing for the right hand off. So we're gonna look for stream off. And then as you can see, when it's on the stream off, the icon has got less bars and it is dark. And then when we click on the left side, the stream is on and it's illuminated and there's more bars. So we're gonna do the same thing for the starting soon screen. So I know that it's screen one on and screen one off. So as you can see, when, the, when you're not on that particular scene, there is a dark, screen with a number one in it and when the screen is on it has a circle to show you that you are on that particular screen so we're going to go across now to the live screen and we're going to do the same thing again so i know that this is going to be screen two on and then we're going to go to scene uh, screen two off so as you can see right now we are currently on we are currently on the live screen so you can see that this one has a circle and it is illuminated and then you just carry on doing this for all of the buttons that you have on your stream deck so we're going to go screen 
screen, uh, sorry, scene three. I keep saying screen. Scene three. And then scene three off. And then same for this one as well, which is the intermission. And this is going to be number four. So you need to make sure that you put the on and off on both, well, on all of your icons. So when you obviously change, this one is currently on and these are all dull, the others are dulled out. Then when we go to a different scene, the circle will move to whichever one that you are currently on. And then over here for the URL, we are going to go and we are going to look for... Um, it is a YouTube icon that I'll be looking for now. So there we go, Web YouTube. So I know when... So I'm going to go to the internet and I'm gonna to go to YouTube and I'm gonna head over to my YouTube studio and I'm gonna grab the URL. So I've just copied the URL, you can't see it because it's on the screen above, but we now have the URL, we're gonna paste that into there. And what we're gonna do is we're now gonna press that button. What I'll do is I'll drag this down here so you can see it and then if I just click that button, it will take me straight to the YouTube studio. So under the YouTube studio, I can go to stream and I can change all my stream titles and stuff. And I don't have to go to the website every time and, you know, go to Google Chrome, type in YouTube, blah, blah, blah. I can just press one button and it automatically activates and takes me straight to the YouTube studio where I need to be. But like I said, inside this uh, pack, of button icons you have quite a lot to choose from you can have one that takes you to instagram you can have one that takes you to your google drive facebook google app you've also got um, safari if you're using a mac you've also got the voice meter uh, the voice mod applications and also loads of different icons for that and you've also got like your recycle bin that you can open, all your different uh, scenes. And then you've got ones for Twitch down here. So your Twitch chat, clips, and so on and so forth. Every icon that you are gonna need as a streamer will be inside this pack. And I've already showed you how to apply the icons to the stream deck like I said you can click on here and you just set via folder then you head over to the folder that you downloaded from the description and then you're pretty much set so thank you very much for watching and as always I've been Dr Dave you guys have been amazing thank you for supporting the channel much love to you all and we will catch you next time bye for now